Okay, welcome back to Dead Stuff with Dave. My brother caught another angler fish, so we're going to show you the proper way to clean and fill it. But first, a little bit of information about the fish. An angler fish's habits are that it sits on the bottom and it has this little doohickey up here and it hangs in front of its mouth to attract minnows. And when the minnows come up to it, he can actually open up the massive under part here and suck in a big gulp of water with the fish. And then he holds the fish in his mouth while he flushes the water at the back part. So we'll put him up on the hook here. And then we can show you what we mean by that. This part here, he actually puffs up to suck in the water from his mouth. And then he lets the water go out through these parts while he keeps the fish in. And they're really soft fish so they can flatten out against the bottom so their guts are kind of interesting. <laughs> Now we found that due to the sliminess and the shape of them, it's actually easier to clean on the hook than it is on the table. So, they're an incredibly slimy fish, and there's actually very little meat on for the size of the fish itself. So we just try to follow his backbone here, very much like taking the breast out of a chicken. actually surprisingly similar to a chicken to clean one of these things. Meat just kind of rolls out from the inside out. Yeah. Try to get right up inside the noggin here and get every last scrap of this meat because it is actually Surprisingly tasty for how ugly of a fish it is. I've kind of discovered a little rule when fishing in the ocean and you catch something and you're not sure what it is or that you should keep it. We've learned that the uglier it is, the tastier it is. It doesn't apply to the rest of life, but in the ocean that seems to be the rule. And there is one monkfish fillet. When you compare that to the size of the fish, doesn't seem like much. Now these fish do get up to, I think it was a little over a meter long, but even so at a meter, you can see that wouldn't be a whole lot of meat. I believe the plan for this is we uh, stuff them with a butter garlic sort of mixture and uh, bake them in the oven, if I'm not mistaken. That's what Chef Chani has in plan. We had some the other day, and they were absolutely fantastic, and we were quite happy to get another one. Just due to their fishing habits, you have to, just out of sheer luck, put your bait in front of one. They don't they're not aggressive fish. But they are very slimy. There we go. Put a little bit of tin there, so we'll turn that off. And there is two monkfish fillets ready to be washed and eaten. We'll see you in the kitchen. <laughs>